Hi everybody, I'm back with the second Charlie Banacus exercise. Um, just get this up and running here. There's two ways to do this, uh, or to get the software to do it, but unfortunately neither are free. The first is to download Functional Ear Trainer version 2. I'll post the link to the website and get the software going, and you have to pay in order to be able to access the bit of the software you need. Let me see if I can get it started here. Yeah, drag it onto this screen. Okay, so this is the starting screen. Click this button, practice, and after you've unlocked it, you go to the key quiz, and you set it up so that the key type is random. You can do as many questions as you like, and the reference note should always be C, at least to start off with anyway. The point of this exercise is that a major or minor cadence is played, then the C note is played, and since you know it's always C, you have to work out from the relationship between C and the cadence played, the cadence played, what the key is. Um, probably easier to show it than it is to explain it, so I'll just go ahead and show you. That was a minor key, and it sounded like C was the flat six, so that would be the key of E minor. C sounded like the 5 that time, and uh, the, key, uh, the cadence played was major, so that would make it F major. C sounded like the 3rd of the key that time, and the cadence was minor, so that should be uh, A flat minor, wherever it is, or G sharp minor there. I'm not so certain about that one. Let's do it again. Okay, major key, and it sounds like C was the flat 7 of the key, so that would make it, mm, just have a moment, D major. Yeah. Okay, that's um, uh, the flat 2 against a minor key, but you get the gist of it. I think that's probably enough of that. Um, so that's one way you can do it. I think that way costs about $20. Second way is to go to this website, which is Bruce Arnold's web Bruce Arnold's website. He's another Charlie Bonacus uh, acolyte, and he does a lot of stuff on Charlie Bonacus ear training. And you go to this page, which I'll put a link to uh, for keynote recognition and you buy basically tracks, um, 24 tracks covering all the major and minor keys with C played against every single one of them. So over in this window, I'll drag it over. Yeah, here we go. I have all the keys represented and we know that C's can be played against them and you can stick this on your iPhone or whatever and randomize it and then make sure you don't look at the answer until obviously the whole things been played, but if I just pick one at random and I don't look, okay, that sounded to me like a minor key, and C sounds like it's the 7 of that key, the major 7, so that would make it C-sharp minor, which, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, fine. So this is another way to do it. It's portable. You can stick it on your iPhone. The other software, of course, you have to be hooked up to your PC to, to use it, but either way, um, yeah, you do this in much the same way as you did exercise one. You perhaps devote 10 to 20 minutes to it per day and do as much as you can in that time. And eventually this improves your ability to hear um, modulations, essentially. Um, and yeah, just another way to get into this um, particular form of relative, ear, uh, relative pitch ear training. Okay, enjoy.